supposed to be publishing a video right now, but I'm down here doing this. <laughs> Well, we're gonna do a good old old fashioned YouTube unboxing. Uh, I know what's in this box right here. I actually ordered it, paid for it myself there. But I've been getting a question a good bit, and when I open this box right here, that's gonna answer that question. Uh, Hus Varner sent me three of these file kits. This is for a 325 chain, is what it is. And uh, I, I contacted them back and I asked them, I said, if that's a mistake, I said, I'll send two of them back or whatever you want me to do, get me an address. They responded back and said, uh, no, sir, keep all three of them and uh, you can keep all three of them for yourself or you can keep one for yourself and use two for giveaway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give these two away, not in this video right here, though. But y'all be staying tuned and be sure and be watching the videos. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that two to three times a week I'm going to be giving away. All right. So we got this going on right here. Hey, and then we got this. So I was sitting at the house Wednesday after they got through cutting my nose slap off my face. And, uh... FedEx come pulling up and they had this and I didn't even know it was coming or anything but uh, what this is make sure I got my address and everything oh, I do okay what this is uh, oh, there it is right there 525 LST trimmer <laughs> Like I said, I didn't even know it was coming. They sent that to me, gave it to me. So we're going to open that thing too right there. We're going to do this kind of a, an Ave style opening. I didn't know it, but I did a video where uh, I opened a box with a little rotary tool right there, rotary cutter. That is, uh, that is one of the handiest little cordless tools that I've got. And that is still the same rock that one of those uh, that sit on Amazon that I got that I've cut everything with that y'all seen in the videos. So I looked at I, I've watched some of A stuff before, but I dug through some of his stuff, and sure enough, he 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 does a lot of unboxing openings with uh, with these things right here, which is pretty cool. I like O Wave. I like his way he goes about uh, things. I don't watch his stuff all the time but I like his take on, on things it's pretty cool uh, one thing that I have found recently that I kind of enjoy watching on YouTube you know is uh, lawn care stuff like uh, yard maintenance stuff and there are several old boys from here in the southeast that have uh, that have nice uh, lawn channels that uh, I have been enjoying watching I'm not going to turn the camera around on myself. Uh, I'm still bandaged up, and it just don't look too pretty. Uh, the swelling is uh, kind of subsiding, so y'all may catch some glimpses of it. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to kind of keep this thing all AU style here. So I'm going to set the uh, camera on the old tripod over there, and we're going to open this box. And this box right here is going to answer... A bunch of questions because I'm gonna do a story time when I open it right there. So y'all hold tight. All right, let's open this dude up. Ah! Ah! Oh, burn it right there in that. Ah! 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 Try not to hit the contents that are inside there. So, there we go. There's me another new aluminum hard hat. So, back in uh, January, quite a few of y'all have noticed that I have not been wearing my aluminum hard hat. 
And the reason why is, is because I lost it. I've had that hard hat since October of 1996. I ordered it from Bailey's. It was a McDonald's tea hard hat. And we were uh, finishing up on the job. I laid it on my pickup truck. We were moving. And I took off down the road. I actually heard it when it blowed off. But I didn't realize what it was till I got on out to the highway. And by the time I turned around and came back, which wasn't but just a few minutes, somebody had already picked it up. And, uh, and it was gone. So I probably needed to retire it anyhow because uh, McDonald's teas hadn't been made in a very, very long time. But uh, so I was sick. I'm talking about sick, sick sick because that hard hat had a lot of sentimental value uh, to me I actually rode that road twice looking for it in a ditch never did see it or anything like that and uh, so anywho I've been putting off ordering one and I know in the videos a lot of people ask me what happened to my Luna hard hat I just I could not stand that plastic one I hated the way it looked on me and all that so Y'all, I'm going to get this sticker out of here. Later, I'll get it out. That's one of them good stickers. Stuck real good. But, uh, so, I got another one right here. The first thing we got to do is put the suspension in it. And then we're going to make it official. So, y'all hold tight just a second. So, I put the suspension in it and I put it on. And I'm like, something is jabbing me. This thing had these little things that were protruding out on both sides here from where it was made. And so I'm having to shave them off because those things would have went into your head. You can find this hard hat like this right here. I have it listed on my Amazon affiliate link. It's uh in the description down below you can click on it and you can get all different colors of them and everything from that from that link right there she is official now that's my two inch sticker right there so it looks good it's ready to get banged up skin up scratched up get some character going on with it now we can tell it's shiny and new uh, I like this style of suspension right here uh, but this one is actually a little bit different than the last new suspension that I ordered for my hard hat that I lost I'm not sure uh, some of y'all that may be in the know what happened to uh, what happened to Mac T McDonald T aluminum because these are these are a little bit different than the Mac T's were made they're different they've actually got a an insert in the in the top of them there the funny thing is is you would think you can look at hard hat test and you would think that this would be the best hard hat to wear as far as strength wise but those carbon fiber ones that they got they're actually the best to wear they hold up the best and impacts which I mean if something hits you hard enough to wear it it really damages one of these the to the point to the point of failure you're going to be dead anyhow so i mean that's that but this is the first suspension for one of these that i ever seen that came with the uh chin strap for it too uh it's fixed where you can unsnap it right there and uh take it out so all right let's unbox this uh weed eater all right so now let's open this thing let me flip this thing where it's running out. box there is pretty thick. Let's 
There's all the goodies with it. Ain't that something? I ain't believe they sent me this thing, man. I talked to Kiel today to kind of get the lowdown on it and uh, find out if he was involved in getting that thing sent to me. But yeah, he, he said he can't take credit for it, that it was a uh, uh, brand where they did that. So that was Cameron and his group that uh, had this thing sent to me. That's just cool as can be. What was so, what's so kind of ironic about this is, is I was, uh, I've got a Husqvarna weed eater that's a two-handle one that's a big industrial brush cutter type weed eater that I've had. I bought it new in 97. Still runs. It's right over there on the wall. But it's, it's so big and so heavy and you have to wear the, the chest harness and everything hooking on to you. And man, I was wanting one like this that you can run. Because I think the weight on this thing is only like 10 pounds or something. I mean, it don't weigh nothing. And this is a uh, this is a commercial <laughs> weed eater right here, too. I mean, for that kind of weight. And lo and behold, it comes in. So I looked it up real quick to see what it was. And this even got to return to own uh, start on it right there. Uh, kill switch on it. So you just kill it and let go of it there. Where you can run it like that. And... Uh, so I'm gonna do. I was gonna get Hunter to unbox this thing right here uh, for me, but I just want to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> That's the choke. It's got a, a skid plate on the bottom of it to protect the gas tank on it there. But uh, so I'm gonna get some video of Hunter running this thing here. I'm gonna let let Hunter run it some and all that. So brand spanking new, a 525 LST. That thing don't weigh nothing. So I'm anxious to, to play with this right here. That's very, very cool. They even sent it's even got a little thing of two cycle oil in here with it. Uh, there it comes with it. Which I use the other Hush Warner two cycle oil is what I what I mix. There's the That's pretty neat. And here's the screws and stuff that goes on it. Hold it on. Right there, so I will uh, put all this together right here. Let's see here. This tells all the do's and don'ts. <laughs> Very, very neat, man. Very, very neat. That just tells all the stuff there. How to crank it and all that good stuff. So they hadn't changed nothing since the last time I cranked the two stroke in, so that's good. Well, that's pretty slick, man. That's pretty slick. Very cool. So I'll get some Instagram pictures of it right quick and uh, do that. But uh, it'll be a lot better running this one than it is my, my other one because it's a dead gum big and heavy. There. The good machines, man. Hus are some good, good stuff. Very good stuff. So I appreciate that, Hus Warner, sending me. Uh, sending me this tool right here like i said totally unexpected i mean that just uh they never even said anything to me it just it just showed up here at the house so uh uh very very neat appreciate that crank her up boom yeah.
this point. be publishing a video right now but I'm down here doing this. <laughs> Alright. Let's go run a little bit see what it'll nice. do. Nice. Oh, rye grass right there.
little bit of running right there. So that's the uh, 225R. I bought that one in uh, 97. I don't run a bump head on it. I cut my string. I run great old big string too is what I run. Yeah, I just cut them in the 8 inch pieces I think. Slide them in. But uh, that weight eater right there is very heavy. You have to wear a uh, chest strap with that one. This one right here is uh much much lighter be the first bump head i've ever had right there uh so it's gonna be pretty cool very very cool like i said 97 never done anything to that weed eater right there except put gas in it never put a spark plug in it either just clean air filter and keep right on getting up i run a brush blade and everything with that dude. so i wanted to weigh it 12 pounds 4.3 ounces i got it sitting up it's <laughs> standing straight up right there on that scales right there 12 pounds 4.3 ounces it's got uh let's see how much gas it's getting it's uh roughly looks like a half a tank of gas in it i guess right there so that kind of gives you an idea of what you're dealing with right there. All right. Easy skills a lot down there. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, give you a little sneak peek on something I did. I actually uh, mounted my TV right here in the in my shop, main cave. I've got a sound bar and a powered sub over there with it too that I bought. I actually... Uh, I got a video detailing the whole thing. I built that mount right there that's attached to the I beam and, and then bought that thing off of uh, the Amazon. Uh, 39 bucks for that. It scissors out. So I, would, I got a video that details all that. But uh, anyhow, give you a sneak peek on that. Appreciate y'all watching. Hus Varner, uh, man, I appreciate y'all sending me that thing right there. Like I said earlier in the video, I didn't even know it was coming. It just showed up but uh very cool because i was really close to pulling the trigger and buying me something like that right there i get some more video with it i'm gonna get it i want hunter to run it and i want to get his thoughts on it uh i'm about to run a pretty big errand for old kevin right quick my little brother and uh i gotta go to tupelo and i'm gonna cut me a piece of this string off and I'll take it with me because I've never run string that small it's did really good though even in the big stuff cutting it with that uh, and I got to go to the Home Depot and pick up a order for kid I'm gonna cut a piece of this off take it with me where I can uh, get me uh, some of this y'all see this video of uh, y'all that are in the lawn care that fool with this stuff a good bit if this is gonna be Huss Varner string or here or whatever if this is the uh, it's got these little ridges on it if that's the stuff to buy let me know uh and because i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to match it uh, uh get me some get me some more of uh of this right here to go on there that smaller string i'm not sure what size that is that's the reason why i'm gonna cut a piece of it off right there and uh take with me but again appreciate y'all follow me along i've got some good good stuff filmed uh that i filmed post that I've got saved up and everything that I think y'all are gonna really going to enjoy uh, some video of some brand new Volvo excavators uh, 355 size which is 85,000 pound zero tail swing Volvo excavators brand new and I get to run one of them too. So you get an cab view in an outside cab view. So y'all stay tuned for that. Some really, really good stuff. Uh, we'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good day, good week. Later, tatters. <laughs>